Hi guys, in this video I would like to teach you four steps how you can get any job you want. Now the process is really, really quite simple. If you just follow this exact framework, you will get any job that you want. Step number one, you have to be excited about the company mission, mission. So you got it when you go in there, when you're talking to the recruiter or whoever, you say, dude, this thing is going to change the world. This should be one of the biggest things. I can't wait to get my hands to start selling it. Everyone should have this. Like we're solving a problem that so many people need and I'm so excited about it. So one, you have to be excited about the company mission. Step number two, you have to be excited about the work you're going to do. So not only are you excited about what the company is doing, but you have to be excited about the day-to-day -day grind that you're gonna, you're gonna have yourself. So that's when you're gonna, gonna be like, dude, I, I can't wait to start hitting these leads and start making these calls, or I can't wait to start iterating the product and doing bold moves to scale it as quickly as we can. So you gotta be excited about the work you're gonna do. Step number three, this I think is one of the most important steps from these four steps. You have to de-risk yourself to the company, either with past experience or by showing you could do the job. I'll say it again, you have to de-risk yourself. The reason this is so critical is sometimes companies don't even hire these candidates kind of on the edge because it's, it's too costly to hire a wrong guy or girl, right? It's just too costly. The training and the culture and the effect that has on morale is just too many problems. So. The key for you to get a job you want is de-risk yourself with your past experience or by showing that you could do the work. The easiest thing for you is if you've done this exact job, you can say, you know what, in my six years experience, I've done this exact thing and I crushed it and I scaled it 10x. This is how I did it. Then it's quite simple. But if the job you're seeking is, let's say, further higher up in responsibilities, then you might not have that experience. Since you don't have that experience, I would look for a way to show them. So the case I would recommend for you to remember is Ryan Graves did a really cool thing. So Ryan Graves was Uber employee number one and he's now worth $1.6 billion because he was Uber's employee number one. At the beginning of his career, he wanted to get a job in business development and he found uh, Foursquare at the time was looking for a person to handle business development. But he didn't have the experience, so he wouldn't get noticed and he wouldn't get the job. So what he went ahead and did is he signed up like I think 30 businesses for Foursquare Premium, which means he got 30 businesses to actually pay for Foursquare Premium. And then he sent those 30 businesses to the Foursquare HR and CEO and everyone says, hey, uh, I would love to have the opportunity to do this job. I went ahead and signed up 30 businesses. These are the businesses that actually paid and I would love to continue doing this 10x, 100x bigger for you. That's a great example of how you can show your skills. So if you want to be in product, do, you can find unlimited product suggestions that are meaningful and keep sending it to them before you get the job when you're not even hired. Or if you're in sales, you could sell the product. Or if you want to be a tester, you can find bugs. like anything it's available or if you're in distribution or growth hacking you can come up with growth hacking creative initiatives and send it to them so if you don't have the experience needed show them invest in the company and show them now note I think this will work better with smaller companies like look for a company less than probably 150 200 employees if the company has more than 150 200 employees this strategy might be harder for you but I don't even recommend necessarily going there. I recommend to make sure at some point in your career have that experience to work at a, at a smaller company because I think you'll learn so much more. And the last point is number four, think from the company's point of view. That's a critical point. Uh, for so many times candidates go and they interview at companies but they're only talking from their point of view when it's so easy just tell them what they want to hear. Like, it's so simple, right? Like, tell the company exactly what they want to hear. And then they'll say, wow, this guy is great. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we were interviewing a content writer and I asked this content writer and the content was very important for us because Promoter, we, we send a blog every day. So we send a helpful blog to our clients every single day. Um, of like just teaching them stuff about video advertising or YouTube, just something to help them. And I interviewed this content writer and I said, well, why should we hire you? And she said, well, all of my friends are going to startups and I want to learn. 
That's the worst answer in the world, right? Like, why is it great for us that all of our friends are going to startups? And two, why is it great for us that she wants to learn, right? That she violated every rule. What she should have said is, think from the company point of view, how do I de-risk myself? So that means these guys know I'm gonna crush this job. How do I show them that I'm excited for the mission and I'm excited for my work? She could have easily said, you know what? I think video is the future and I think uh, newspapers and television, those ad dollars are moving toward video. So going to video advertising company is the future because it's only gonna increase. And video is the best way to convey any message. So I'm really excited because of the mission we are on. Two, I'm extremely excited for the work I'll be doing. I think Promoter now has like 600,000 people who signed up for our newsletter. And so the person could have said, you know what? I'm extremely excited to write the type of articles that will reach 600,000 people every day. That means every day I have an opportunity to make 600,000 people's lives better. I can help them achieve their dreams of growing their channels, pursuing whatever they seek to do. And three, to de-risk it for you, I can crush the role of taking an end-to-end -end writing blogs. I'll find the blog, I'll, I'll find the content, I'll write the content, it'll be written perfectly. And this is the proof I have of 50 other blogs I did and look how high of share rates they have. And if she didn't have the experience, she could say, you know what, I went ahead and written uh, 10 blogs for your company, blast one or two of them out to a small list and you'll see that it'll have high open rates, high click rates and high share rates. You're hired. Like, uh, just think about it. Like, that was such a great pitch and she didn't do that. And that's because she didn't watch this video. So in summary, <laughs> if you wanna get any job, one, be excited about their mission. Two, be excited about your work. Three, de-risk yourself to the company either with past experience or by showing them you can do the work. And four, think from the company's point of view and, and you'll get every job you want. I hope this was helpful. You can tweet me if you have any questions to at Vlad does and I'll reply to you personally. See you.